This task asks you to make three triangles whose area is 12. We know that the formula for area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2, or you can say half BH. So we know that if we need a total area of 12, we get that after dividing some larger value by 2, which means B H needs to equal 24 so that when I divide it by 2, I get 12. Only one of our triangles, it did require that one of our triangles was not a right angle. The easiest way to figure this out is think of what two factors can multiply together to create 24. Well, I know I get 24 from 2 times 12. I get 24 from 24 from 3 times 8, I get 24 from uh, 4 times 6, not divided by 6, 4 times 6. So I have a bunch of options. There's always 1 and 24 as well, uh, but lots of things to choose from. So we'll go ahead. I'm going to use these three dimensions. I'm going to take the longest value and make it be the base. So I'll click on my drag, draw, click here. I'll start here and I'll drag it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay? And then somewhere along here, I need this to have a height of 2, which means I need to go perpendicular up from my base two places. I'll just pick this spot, start here, and then I need to draw it to meet at the end of the baseline segment, and then draw this over here to the end of that baseline segment. And there we go, this triangle would have an area of 12. I can kind of get a sense by saying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It has about almost 10 full squares and then these little partial amounts which would fill in those two other full missing pieces. So 12 seems like an, appro an appropriate approximation. So I'm gonna say that um, 12 times two equals 24. And then, oh, I accidentally moved that. And then I could say 24 divided by 2 equals 12. So I have an area, area equals 12 square feet. We'll call it feet. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm going to move on to my next line segment. I'm going to go ahead and make this one, we'll say 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And just because I can, I'm going to go ahead and make the 3. I'm going to make this a right angle triangle. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3 down there. And now I have my perpendicular height, my base, and I'm going to connect these two with a diagonal line. This line, just for fancy math facts, is called the hypotenuse. Then I'm going to say that 8 times 3 equals 24. Then 24 divided by 2 equals 12. So I'm, again, just verifying that my answer is 12 square feet. My last one is going to have a bottom dimension of 6 and a height of 4. So I go up 4, go down, and there we go. Explaining that base 6, height, Four. 6 times 4 equals 24, and then we're going to say 24 divided by 2 equals 12. And there's your explanation. So then you could screenshot this either by hitting print screen on your keyboard or taking a picture with your camera and being able to turn this image into a document that you submit. Your triangles do not need to look like mine, but this type of idea is what we're trying to convey of having triangles that are representing a desired area value.